I'm dying to know when you had this struggle of resentment, what were you doing? I'll describe it in two general ways. One, trying to be everything for everybody, yet not for myself. And a friend of mine once said, I came into work, and he said, what did you do today? And I said, uh, a lot. I, I can't think of it. And he said, Carrie, if you can't think of everything that you did today, you're doing too much. And so I was doing, ultimately, too much by trying to do everything. I was putting 5% into every project instead of 100% into one. And so trying to be everything to everybody, making mistakes, questioning myself, my, my self-esteem just disappeared. So what are you putting 100% into now? Police chiefs hire me to teach officers and sheriff's deputies how to communicate better with the public in order to reduce violence. Communication. Communication. So if you could, if you could summarize just in a, in a couple sentences what the underlying change is that you are implementing and teaching police officers communication skills, and what's the impact? What's, 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 the, what's the differentiator for you? What are you really teaching? I don't remember the exact phrase, so I'll paraphrase it greatly. The lesson comes to you when you go to, the, the, the lesson that you teach is what you need most to learn. Yeah. And the opportunity to dive deep into how I communicate and to, ra to raise that up to a much higher level, not just one level, but several more, has been a, a true blessing. So benefit to me is I, I get to have a better life because of what I'm trying to teach others and helping them have a better life. So if I was a police officer, which I'm not, but if I was a police officer and you had just one minute to change me, change my life for the better, to communicate better, what would you say to me? Listen with intent. Use tactical empathy. You don't have to agree with the person. You simply have to hear where they're coming from and understand where they're coming from. And when you do that, they will feel heard and you'll have a rapport and a connection within 90 seconds that will probably eclipse the connection they have with their own family because very few people listen with intent. I think we could all learn that lesson. Right? <laughs> so the one thing that I'm completely baffled by is growing up, my, my father, uh, he was first Catholic, then he was a Buddhist, but um, one thing that he ta taught us as, as children was balance. And he said that your life, imagine your life being the, 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 the edge of a knife, and you have to walk that path as sharp as that knife, and at any moment you can fall off. And that to me was, was balance, like it's, it, it, that was the, the meaning of, of being. So working with you has been very interesting and, and, and challenging in my head a little bit. Um, and your seesaw example, I think, was, was perfect in terms of, of compromising. Um, what, what would you say towards a theory like that, just to kind of help me wrap my head around living a life of balance? Yeah, and, and, and balance has been thrown out for centuries. I, I, I understand exactly where your father was coming from. And yet, I would not prefer to walk on the knife edge. It sounds pretty dangerous to me and painful. And if you make a mistake, what are you left with? 
you're left with pieces that you have to pick up and put back together. Or as if we jump in with a barbershop quartet or an orchestra, a band, and we've got all these different things contributing. And life, life is, is so many things happening at one time. To try and equate it with a balanced beam, walking on the edge of a knife, a teeter, totter, whatever balance, a, 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 a tightrope strung between buildings and a high walker, high wire walker in New York walking from building to building. There's no room for error. We're humans. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be perfect. Because the last guy that was perfect on this planet didn't turn out so well for him. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, do I dare ask you what your three words are for the meaning of life? Your meaning of life, not the meaning of life. Because man has sought that. You, I'll give it simply. Make a contribution. There's a lady who I respect greatly who's been on this stage who called it making a contribution. And I, I have the greatest respect for her, Elsbeth. Mine is slightly different. We didn't compare notes. Mine is make a difference. Because when you make a difference in this world, I know for me that I've, I've made that difference already. And I look forward to the differences, plural, that I'll be able to make in the future. So I know whatever they decide to say when my ashes are scattered, that it will include some things said about that. Mm. And I can rest easy with that. Beautiful, beautiful. 